Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about Azure Active Directory. This would be my first video on Azure Active Directory. Uh, in this video, I want to tell you uh, now from now on, uh, Microsoft is actually rolling out uh, a different name for Azure Active Directory and altogether it is a different portal than Azure Active Directory. So don't get surprised right now, uh, Microsoft already started, it is rolling out. So don't get surprised if you click on Azure Active Directory and if you're not able to see the previous Azure Active Directory portal, they call is Microsoft Intra Admin Center, that is Azure Active Directory portal. So this is the new portal, this is the new landing page for Azure Active Directory. Uh, this is not altogether like it's not different uh, portal. Uh, it is a different portal, but all the functionality and everything is carry forwarded. So you will see the different look and feel. You might uh, will face some issues when you finding some, some uh, settings here and there. Uh, otherwise, everything is there in this portal. Uh, now, quickly, I will show you. Uh, this is a new new portal uh, walkthrough. Okay, uh, this is not in detail video about Azure Active Directory, but I will uh, create one when I start the Azure Active Directory series. Uh, this is the landing page of Azure Active Directory. You can see. Uh, home, Azure Active Directory, permission management, and Verify ID. These, all these three are very different from each other, but they are correlated. So I will cover that in details when, when I'm talking about Verified ID and permission management in my upcoming series. Right now, I'll take you to the Active Directory. You can go and check this overview page. Uh, you will see, see, this is my uh, demo tenant. So these new features are uh, forcefully, forcefully enforced. So I don't have an option to go back and show you that classic portal. But now I'll show you the overview page. Overview, you will see the everything on the right hand side, everything will be a similar experience from the previous portal. Uh, overview page, again, it is the same. Uh, there is a see, there is a two notifications are there that uh, you must uh, uh, take a note because this is, uh, one is um, like uh, important, this upcoming authenticator number matching enforcement. This is, and you clearly see, this is going to roll out after February 27 to 2023, right? In the next month, probably. And uh, this will surprise end user, okay? This is end user uh, setting. And uh, and definitely end user will surprise if they are using multi-factor authentication right now. They will surprise with this because this is altogether different way you can uh, authenticate. You can do that multi-factor authenticate. So definitely this, this user will surprise. So you just take one step ahead and check this for you yourself, how it is working and uh, just uh, let every user know that before uh, this rollout happen. So Microsoft, see right now, Microsoft has given us a permission admin uh, to the admin, given the permission that you can check and you put uh, these uh, settings for the pilot batch and pilot batch can test how it is working, right? So that permission is there. But after this, after this date, Microsoft is going to remove uh, admin permission that we cannot do or test this for a particular user or particular group. So after this, Microsoft going to remove all our admin permissions from this setting and Microsoft will take a decision and it, they will roll out as per their uh, schedule, right? So the, after that, there is no if and but, everything it will be rolled out for all users across the tenant. So just make a note of that and upcoming MFA server deprecation, uh, is it's another uh, MFA server thing that will go away. So you, if your organization is using this, uh, this kind of thing, this settings mostly, uh, you know, uh, enterprise, enterprise uh, clients uh, use. So if you are using it, uh, just have a look and uh, take a, uh, take appropriate decision. Uh, yeah, again, same thing, same, same face, nothing. Monitoring again, uh, same thing. I'll tell you another one, one that uh, recommendation tab you will see. Uh, it is in a preview. Uh, so what did what uh, does it mean? It's it's basically it will give you the recommendation that uh, how your Active Directory is set up, right? If you want to uh, do some kind of a changes uh, in a security perspective, then they will recommend you, okay, go and uh, fix this and increase your security, right? So for my portal, they have given me recommendation that uh, set do not expire passwords. Uh, 
uh, this is a very different statement from the Microsoft. Microsoft says and recommend that you set a password to do not expire. So why? User need to set a different password every month and so that we can maintain that security, right? We should not use the same password for a year or more than that, right? But now Microsoft is recommending that do not expire password. So why? So please, please let me know if you have a answer, better answer for this in the comment box. If you don't know, please let me know. I will uh, explain you in the next video. Uh, just jump here and there and to check the settings. Now they have uh, segregated, consolidated, consolidated uh, one type of settings under the one name, one tab, and it's very easy to find. So now this portal uh, looks good. Uh, I, I love it personally. Uh, so user, all users, you will see the same, same portal, nothing. Deleted users, same. User settings, again, the same thing no difference uh, groups again the same uh, then device overview all devices bit locker keys this one is much better i love it uh, because it will show the all the bit locker keys for your devices and uh, which is great device name and uh, key id and a bit locker uh, recovery key device type that that it will show which is again it's very good uh, then applications enterprise application app registration again the same thing i'll just click on show all uh, roles and admins again the same uh, billing license and uh, linked subscription um, whichever this uh, tab is have anything to discuss i will just discuss on that preview hub is again good thing uh, where you can see what are the upcoming features in the microsoft azure Active directory are uh, coming up okay that will show up here so you can just keep a track of like what what kind of uh, settings are going to change in coming month and what has been rolled out and what are in the general availability you know uh, or a public preview so it, you can just uh, go and have a look of those setting those settings domain names again the same uh, mobility again again the same uh, protect and secure uh, this is another tab new feature no not new feature new name they have given and under this they have they are covering all the security uh, tab security features everything's they are coming uh, under this protect and secure so if you looking specifically anything regarding the security you straight away you can come to this protect and secure and you can make that make that decision identity governance again the same thing uh, no change privileged access access management where you can uh, give the just in time access how you can check your roles and who can approve that permission review access all that stuff is there external identities where the how b2b guest users access and all that uh, stuff and uh, hybrid management where the if you have a if you're running a local as your uh, if you are running local active directory and then if you are connecting to azure active directory and then this portal is there for you to check uh, the check the access and the configuration thing uh, monitoring and health again this new tab uh, where they are covering all audit whenever you want to see some anything regarding user permissions logs and workbooks and the uh, user insight and uh, this this bulk operation of uh, bulk operations uh, logs uh, download or any kind of things that you are running so you, you will see everything under this okay whenever you're monitoring and health you know you want to check anything in the uh, portal that time you can come here come down here and see this so altogether uh, this portal is very good good uh, start uh, they have put uh, it's aggregated consolidated consolidated all the relevant feature under the one tab and uh, it's cues uh, easy to understand and uh, easy to find and uh, the one thing that uh, like a security default that feature is not coming under here previously if you know that that feature was coming under the properties of azure active directory and i was just stuff trying to find that where that setting would be and then after like spending five ten minutes i able to find okay you can go here in the azure active directory and you can go in the properties and down here manage security default and that settings is here you know so you need to spend some time you know whenever you are a first time using it it will uh, it will take a time to understand where are these settings so before microsoft rollout and uh, uh, it will forceful forcefully when the microsoft rollout and you don't have any other options then just go in this and search so before that just uh, have a look go for it the url is the intra.microsoft.com just put this url in the wherever you already logged in admin 
admin portal you can just go here logged in with your uh, global admin account and that portal will open right right away okay if it is not uh, active in your current tenant so you can use that portal or you can access that portal from this url so this is the very short overview video of azure active directory this is a very short uh, video about azure active directory microsoft sorry microsoft intra admin center so i hope uh, you like this and uh, uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know what uh, kind of videos you are looking for or what kind of uh, please let me know what kind of videos you are looking for or if anything questions uh, please put down in comment box i definitely i will reply and i'll give you the my best answer or best opinion about that okay thanks thanks for watching thanks for watching please subscribe the channel thank you bye bye